Let me say this dear Williams, Wala for Shabia. Today I wanna do just this quick video. I'm going for a walk, and uh, as part of a new Ghana agenda, I wanna just do this quick video. Quick video. Um, how is your day? You know, did you have a lovely day? I'm standing in a place that in Ghana, Ukoko Jinawa Wa Usro. The richest place in, in the world. Why am I saying this? The richest place in the world because some ideas here were never used. probably And the richest place in the world is the cemetery. And I'm in the middle of the cemetery here. I'm in the middle of a cemetery here. Which is not possible in Ghana. Say, who could you say? Say, hey, I say, I love a fiance, pa, little boy, and I say, I tell you, the deal with Calico, but shall breach it. Yeah, then this is your no houses, just you know, if you in a war or no, be feeling, be feeling this year, you know, long line. And this is the richest place in the world. A place where people who have not, most of them haven't used it. Like, you know, it's like you and I. We may end up here one day. We may end up here one day. So, whatever life you are leading, always remember, whenever you watch this video, remember that a time will come. You may end up here one day. A time will come. A time will come, you may end up here one day. And so you need to value life. You need to be the person that you want to be in this world. You need to be it. everything that you are passionate about. That's the reason why you are still alive. You are alive because there's a purpose for you to be here. These people, they've done their job. They've done everything they need to do. They've gone. That's why they are here. They are lying down. Whether they've gone to heaven or not. And they are just a whole Christian for no. Now when you are As I see how they are making it say. Nipa be bre ya waho. Ya boy ya bra. But ya peso be approval mine. Oh na wo kura diye na wo ye. Dia wo ye. Wo shwa ebe ye ye ni. Na then you give up. Oh. You give up. Me me kaipa has a gana. As ye say, no, who want to make crown good and go on until her rough rough. School time, that uh, gone out the days in school time, uh, times could be now ten o'clock. We see you on your corner, they you got to mango, salo mango. We see you. I remember more mango. We always see you at it. Oh, lad, as I said, the order of Aji would roll. I shall be the fear of order. Uh, so, God, uh, it will be sit down crown when they say it because it's true. It's true, I say, I'm much. It's true, I say, I'm much. Should I say? I say, you. I say, 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 I Sometimes, uh, my miss you to that match. Michelle, I remember from him, no, you're dead up in Tiscado. I wanna. And him was, and him pa was, I see them. Yeah, it's it. Oh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if we need new Ghana, these are the things that we need to do. We we need to take the fear out of, like, you know, our system. Yes, sure. I got any of it to work with, see, you want to see you in day. Nobody else. Let's see you in the day. Um, but a bit of general knowledge in the band will see you on no money. I'm always say you wait. I'll go on a bit to work on about it. Well, it's true now. I saw people at the beer or the best show Munadi. You see, so these are the things that we need to do. We really need to focus on improving our life, improving the life of the people because being a leader, you've been given the opportunity to serve the people. We have the opportunity to serve the people. Let's come to the topic for today. Why is the cemetery the richest place in the world? The cemetery is the richest place in the world because most 
of the people who are like you and I out there. We have the potentials to use our power, our mind and everything, but we don't because we want approval from others. And there are people here, even where I'm standing, there are people there that did not use their potentials. They did not use why they are here. You are alive because there's a reason why you are alive. Me, I always see this and I always go for a walk. And today I say, let me just do something small. We, we are alive because we always, we always something that we need to bring on board every day. I always say this. Me, I should have been here a long time ago. But as far as I'm alive, I believe that I'm here for a reason. I believe so. I believe that I'm here for a reason. As far as I'm alive. Because um, gone are the days. <laughs> By this time, we should have been away now. But if we are still alive, it means there's a reason why we are alive. And I believe that. Whatever I'm doing, I believe that's my calling. First time in the you don't value me, you don't see me. And yeah, we are. But in the Facebook, now make Kenya Mia some or the other side of the story. Because I'm not saying Jesus, Jesus. So people don't think say if you are, I'm doing the right thing or something. People will call me, ah, and you know we are seven day Adventists and I don't know what can answer in the same way. Masa, seven day Adventists is a church. <laughs> I was born to be in this planet for something. And the church is part of me, whether I join it or not. I have the right to decide for myself. And so I can be serving the Adventists, yeah? I can be serving the Adventists, but I can be who I am. I am here because for a reason. This world, you are also here for a reason. So don't ever think that you are Catholic, so whatever Catholic people say to you is final. My, you will live a life and regret one day. Don't tell me you are Pentecost, you are Methodist, you are this, so uh, there's another way of doing things. I understand, we, we get it, we get it, but let me tell you, the pastor that you are following, he's doing the work of God, believing in that He's in this planet for that. So what are you in this planet for? That's what you need to know. What are you in this planet for? And I'm in the cemetery here to tell you that's the richest place in the world. The reason is that these people live their life and most of them did not even use their potentials. You may say, how do I know? Like you and I, are we using our potentials? Are we using the reason why we're on this planet? Do you even know? I always tell you, if you want to know why you are on this planet, take a pen and paper. You wake up in the morning, just write anything. Ask yourself, why am I on this planet? If you don't know why you're on this planet, you can never be who you want to be. You know, there's a line, line or there's a, there's a, a myth that Oh, you can be whoever you want to be. No, no, you can't. You can't. I'm not telling you. I'm not lying to you. I'm, I'm in the cemetery. I'm not going to lie to you in the cemetery that you can be whoever you want to be. No. You can only be who you are passionate to be. You can only be who you are here for. You can never be whoever you want to be, no matter how positive mindset you have. And so this is my word to you, that... The richest place in the world is the cemetery because most people did not use their potentials and they end up here. I've been to several aged care facilities, spoken with several old people. They regret, they regret, not, they have regretted not living their life. Even some of them said, I have regretted looking after my kids because my children have decided not to come and even visit me. All my life, I, I dedicate myself for my children. But today, they are not even anywhere around me. And some of them say, I dedicate my life for my family. My external family, I gave them everything. I have no child. 
so it's in your course most people who are here may live a life that will benefit somebody maybe a small portion of people but we are talking about massive people there are people out there that we you and i still remember the history book you and i still remember we still remember napoleon bonaparte you do isn't it you still remember napoleon bonaparte why because napoleon bonaparte decided not to be an ordinary person can you imagine that you are about to die and the day of your last breath your talents show up your voice show up your personality itself show up it says that you know you're supposed to use us but you never use us because you're scared you're scared what people will say you didn't want to be on Facebook because you're scared you're shy you don't want to use your voice because you don't want people to see who you are you don't even want camera to be in your face because you're scared is that the world that you want and can you imagine that's your last breath you are about 70 plus 80 plus 90 plus even 100 plus and there's no way to return back you know the tears will come and so this is the opportunity for you watching this video and sharing this video with your friends to let you know that you got a place to go we all got a place to go but before that you need to make a mark on the wall you need to live your life don't let religion don't let other things destroy your opportunity of being who you are here for we are all accountable to god if we believe in god we are accountable to god but I believe that whatever you do here is what will makes you a winner or a loser. And this is the video I have for you today. As I said, we need a new Ghana agenda. We need cemeteries like this. Not cemeteries with all those, you know, <laughs> scary things that you can't even walk in. This is a cemetery that you can walk in. You can, you can do whatever you want around it. There's people who lives around. This is uh, what I'm trying to let you know, that we need to build a better place for ourselves. Not cemetery, though, but a better place. If you respect people, if we respect ourselves, if we love ourselves as we do, we can do better things than this. This is nothing. We can do better things than this. We can do better things than this. So, guys, thank you so much. And God bless you until we meet again, you know. All right. Have a wonderful time. Thank you.